All right, everybody, welcome back to Genshin Impact and specifically the region of the year. It's been a while here, so I'm glad that we have a new part to explore and a new boss to fight because I can make a guide on it. So this is the solitary Swanni. Uh, I don't know the specific pinyin, so I'm sorry if I <laughs> butchered that one, but this boss is required to level up and feed without being too crass or, well, Burb Retainer, or as I like to call her, Sunway's wife. Now, luckily for Sunway and his very gorgeous wife, we have a boss that's pretty simple actually, given that you follow these two rules. One is to respect its space, because if you don't respect its space, it, you'll probably end up getting greedy and then it'll punish you with one of the more deadly attacks, which I like to call the Fart and Splash, because it just sends a huge gust of air at you, and it's AoE, so be careful. And then it'll follow right after with a splash of water. And that will take my 17k HP all the way to maybe 1.7k. So be careful when you uh, get clipped like that, because you'll end up finding out that your units are not as durable as they seem uh, if you happen to tank too many of these fight, uh, too many of these shots. So rule number two is bring cryo. I know you like freezing people, right? So if you can freeze just fine with Kaya, because you have him already, uh, it's ideal. Because for some reason, the boss just really likes to prance around it and fuse itself with Hydro. And when it does so, the Hydro infusion will allow you to freeze it and then cause a reaction, instantly giving you a DPS phase. It's mind-bogglingly easy. So if you have these units as well, specifically uh, Eula, which you can freeze and shatter immediately, and then with Ganyu, uh, Ganyu is also able to freeze at any distance and you can play the long range game. And if you happen to be just afraid of dodging stuff, straight up just use Coco Goat, okay? You'll be good. So with those two rules in mind, let's talk about difficulty and builds. So we are world level eight. So this is as hard as it ever will be for Genshin players, assuming they don't raise it. So if you're like AR35 and you're kind of like, hey, how come this guy has like level 90 characters and a bunch of five star artifacts? It's because I don't want to make the guide 45 minutes long and you've already seen everything there is to see by like minute seven. So for me to have a fighting chance, uh, I prefer to have the highest common denominator when it comes to the world level. So then you can see how it scales because I guarantee you it's just as hard as it is for you as it is for me. I have the practice for these boss guides. so. Give me a give me a break here and for the unit selection you can tell that again i'm only doing free to play because i'm allowing anyone else to substitute whatever unit they want do you have yoimiya instead of amber go right ahead and use her do you have kazuha instead of Lynette? go right ahead and use her do you have yula or ganyu maybe you even have uh, yaimiko or lisa to set off other reactions go right ahead i'm not stopping you I just want to say, at least showcase the fact that the game operates on being able to beat everything without having to spend any money. So there you have it. So let's start with the builds. Traveler or Lynette with two ends has the Sword of Narcissus Cruise, and I give them Noblesse Oblige with an ER timepiece because, uh, I don't know, memes. Amber is using the Slingshot along with Wanderer's Troop. We have Lynette with one end using the Festering Desire and VV. And we have Kaya using the Amanoma Kageuchi along with the Emblem of Severed Fate. Everything here has been gotten free to play. You can find this in Imizuma. You can find this in a, uh, if you're a long standing player. You can uh, 1.2 players will have this sword, but if you have anything else like Rancour, Sacrificial, even Harbinger of Dawn, maybe even Skyrider Sword, go right ahead and use them. And Slingshot comes from losing or not getting your purples and golds in Wishing. So, good to go. And remember, this is overworld, so you also have the chance to eat food. So if you're feeling that you're not doing enough damage, go ahead and eat yourself a delicious delicious Qingxia stir fry. No one's stopping you. This is your boss fight. This is your world. Do whatever you want. So with that being said, let's begin. Now, when you start the fight, it most likely will always start one of two ways. More likely than not, it's going to be the fart and splash. Here we go. But this one's actually just the blades. So I was far enough for it to trigger that. But if you go up any closer, it'll do this move instead, which is the fart and splash. Huge, huge wind and then huge water. So be careful of that. So this move with the waves 
blade things, you can just walk out of. I quite literally didn't even spend any stamina there, so don't be too afraid about it. And this one is just more of the same. To avoid that, just dodge backwards and then to one direction. And let's see if it infuses itself with water. Oh, never mind. It wants to splash me. Yeah, watch your feet when it comes to that. These guys do not fuck around when it comes to uh, attacks that go quick and go fast and go hard. So be aware of that. So now it infuses itself. This is actually a set in stone, uh, rather like pre-programmed uh, damage phase possibility. So just freeze it in place and then do your damage. And once you see it get up, uh, don't get too greedy because they might do the fart and splash and you're not going to have a good time. So it's doing its wave thing. But imagine if I was any closer, I probably would have been hit by now. Not good. So again, just be considerate, I suppose, of the danger that is in front of you and do what's smart. Oh, okay. So this one, you got Amber out and use anyone that can react with Animo. So anyone that's not Animo or Geo, and you should be good to go. It's another free DPS phase. However, if you miss the timing on this, it's not going to be fun. Here's what happens when you miss the timing. Yeah, uh, poor Amber over there had to get revived over there at the Statue of Seven. So, not fun. So, you can see that it really likes to do that attack when you're closer to it. I'm going to freeze it, and then I'm going to use my Traveler to crystallize, and it'll also cause uh, another DPS phase. But, like I said, if you want to keep it consistent, just use anyone that's able to get rid of the ice without being too complicated. It just tried to get away from me because I tried freezing it. If I had my burst up ready, I would have been able to actually... Uh, what do you call it? Um, I would have been able to stun lock it and freeze it yet again. Which would have been cool. But... That's pretty much... Uh, honestly, that's it. You've seen every uh, move that this boss had to do. The fart and splash, the... Actually, there's one move that he hasn't done yet. I want you to do it to me. It's that paw stomp, if I'm getting too close, like this. Hey. Yeah, I dodged it, whatever. Alright. And there you go. Now that's every single fight, or rather, move that this boss had. So I'm just gonna... And there you have it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's the boss for you. So, like you've seen, you probably should not stay too close to it because it has a very huge tendon, a really uh, large tendency to uh, get up, hit you with a bunch of wind, and then splash you to death. So, again, as long as you're able to take advantage of the fact that it keeps infusing itself with Hydro and just freezing it, you should have a really easy time. And Eula does this really well along with Garnier. But again, like I said, not super relevant considering that this is a free-to-play guide, but if you happen to have those units, you should whip them out for this fight. It makes it a lot easier. So without any further ado, that is it for this guide. You can watch the battle I do after this to see what I mean, like optimal units in action. But if you want to see Sunway's guide on the top right, there you have it, along with the description along and the pinned comment. But I won't take up any of your time. I hope this was useful. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to respond. Good luck, have fun, and make sure to feed your bird wife accordingly. <laughs> Hut
大家，请振作，试探攻击，损坏。哼，正面偷袭。闲人勿扰。